Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Columbus, Ohio, with the most annoying frauditor that you'll ever meet. Well, that's kind of saying a lot right there. Cult news as he attempts to gain entry into the school board over there once again and uh, fraud it over there but it's going to be harder for him now because well they are now installing key card readers oh my goodness frauditor whatever will you do i don't really know but i know what we're going to do we're going to sit back relax and enjoy the show well we're going back to Get the names of the other three employees that assaulted us or me rather if we can't do that then we're going to oh look they got construction going on here how do you get in the building are they closed today i can't hear you say that again they want people to go into the loading dock going through the loading dock all right. That's for employees. I don't know. Where is the loading dock? You're not an employee. I'm not, but, but I, I definitely need to, to come in here into the lobby. So they, is this lobby essentially closed today then? Yeah, we're trying to work construction on it right now. So. Well, there you go. There you go. Well, here's another example of frauditors initiating some form of change that has been backfired on them yeah he was able to get in the other day and cause some trouble but now because of that they're installing key card readers to keep the dumbasses like him out on the streets see frauditor you are doing something for the world you are making it safer for uh the professionals in that office so they can do their work and not have to deal with imbecilic morons such as yourself way to go you are doing it you are initiating the proper change good job all right are they are working today though right because i had a little situation i need to have the police come over and get some information how are you yeah i need to talk to an administrator You have somebody come out to you. Sweet, appreciate you. So what are you guys putting in? Uh, we're doing just uh, card access on the door. Card access where? Like, oh. Oh, very cool. So is this not going to be a public lobby? You hear that? Interesting. Interesting. Um, if you missed that, they're putting in card access. Hey, Chief, you're one of the folks I need to talk to. When they last met, this uh, gentleman ended up tossing the frauder out on his ass. And, well, that's the biggest reason why these key card readers are being installed. Because of cult news right here. So, once again, thank you for making our workplaces a bit more safer for our office workers as they continue to do their jobs unmolested by knucklehead morons like yourself. Hey, I, I'm going to have the police come back over here, but I could avoid that if you can just give me your name, sir. <laughs> oh, psychopaths. So, anywho, so they're putting card access. Did you hear that, folks? They are, they have security here putting in card access on these two outside doors, which tells me that they're going to try and remove the public lobby altogether. For some reason, I suspect these folks' behavior, their concern is going to warrant a lot of angry citizens coming in. So they're going to put card access on the exterior doors. I tell you something, frauditor. Where I work in the school board and schools, their key card access is everywhere because we know that morons like you and other people who have no good intentions for the uh, students and uh, staff are not allowed access. And you know what? Nobody else is complaining about it except for dipshits like you who want to go in and stir up some problems. I mean, that's all that is. You just want to cause problems and put it on YouTube. To keep the public out of this building. This is Columbus City Schools Board of Education. 
card access on the exterior doors. Did not see that coming, not gonna lie. Did not see that coming. While we're waiting, let me go give you an update and tell you why the two police officers that came here after Officer Golden came and set these folks straight, the two officers that came, they weren't so helpful after all. As you may recall, they had, at least seemed to have zero desire to actually watch the video of the assault here. And uh, I made it very clear there are multiple assailants and yet the police officer only got the information of, of one of those people. I'm actually gonna share that information while we're waiting for an administrator to come out. Look, dumbass, they didn't touch you. They touched your precious little camera. And you know what? Oh my God, who the hell cares? Let me share uh, the details of the police report. The little Hispanic fellow that assaulted me, um, his name was James, let's see, James Myers. And James Myers, <laughs> he told the police, and I quote here, well, this is not an actual word for word quote, but it says, James Myers, security supervisor, states that the suspect slash victim number two, Mr. Michael Norton, entered the building, part of which is open to the public, and here's my favorite part, while filming, attempted to provoke a security response. Now, how many times did I tell the security guards here to leave me alone? I would think if somebody's coming at you and you're saying to them, leave me alone, please leave me alone, don't touch me, leave me alone. I don't, I don't think that would be construed as a uh, trying to incite a response from them. If anything, I'm trying to incite them to leave me alone. You did the exact same thing in a uh, restricted area in another building a few weeks ago. They came up to you to ask you what you were doing right there, and you kept on saying, leave me alone. And it was definitely a restricted area. It was an employee-only area. And they were trying to get you out of there, but you kept on saying, leave me alone. Dude, that alone is provocation to get you out of there. You're the one inciting all the hostility by not leaving restricted areas to begin with. I don't know. Call me crazy. It said, uh, Mr. Myers states Mr. Norton attempted to enter sensitive areas and when asked to leave, push Mr. Myers. All right. Um, so as of right now, almost 100,000 people have seen the assault of myself that took place in this building, and the video's been up for less than two days. Anybody that watches that video, I am absolutely confident will see that I was not the aggressor here at the Columbus City Schools uh, Board of Education Administrative Offices. I was very clearly not the aggressor here. Oh, yeah, you're so innocent, aren't you? So, so angelic, so misunderstood. You didn't go in there to cause any problems. You just went in there to, well, talk to the people and just make sure that they fell in line with your side of the story. That's all. You didn't want to do anything irrational like... Uh, antagonize everybody in sight and i certainly wasn't trying to get into any uh secure areas or or whatever um I, I don't know if james myers is stupid or if he thinks the police are stupid or if he thinks that a jury of his peers will be stupid but it's pretty obvious that i made zero attempt to gain entry into areas that I did not belong in. In fact, I specifically said, I'm not going to this course here. I mean, I have no need to go back there. So it'll be interesting to see if, uh, if the prosecutor's office here in Columbus actually does their job like they should. So far, I have no reason to believe they won't, but time will tell. Well, calling the prosecutor's office corrupt sure as hell isn't going to help your cause out one little bit. You might want to think about how you talk to people. That's all part of your problem right there. But let's continue on and see how this goes. Now, I think we're still waiting. Oh, 
Let's see. Oh, here we go. Hi there. Hey, I need an administrator, please. <laughs> All right, so as of right now, it has been 23 minutes since we showed up first and asked to speak with an administrator. We went around back, rang the bell, somebody came out, opened the door and immediately shut the door. Uh, it's clear they're not cooperating with us. These are thugs and criminals. This is the kind of behavior you would expect from thugs and criminals. No, uh, I would expect the kind of behavior from thugs and criminals directed towards you to be with, well, something like leaving you in a ditch, either, uh, well, unalived or at the very least needing a great deal of medical attention. I mean, you call these guys tyrants and yet they let you walk around and not do a damn thing to you. I mean, you really need to understand what tyranny is all about. If you want to understand that, just go to North Korea and you'll fully understand that. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.